We're here at the Theodore Payne Foundation and today we're going to be talking about potting up California native plants in containers. To begin, you would uh, collect your materials and here we have potting soil. For California natives, we recommend two types of soil, either our potting soil or cactus soil. Then you're going to select your plants and we'll get to these guys in just a few minutes, but we will be looking at the size of your plants to your containers. In your containers, they can be ceramic, they can be plastic, they can be wood. As long as they have a hole at the bottom and you want to allow the water to pass through your containers. And then we will also talk about dressing here. So to start off, uh, if you were to choose between these two plants, what you're looking for for your container, and this is your container, is that it is double the width and double the depth. So if you take a look at this one, this is pretty much the same size as the container. And if you were just to drop that in there, there's no room for those roots to expand. So we're gonna focus on this size here. And so as you can see, if you were to just drop that in there, it's gonna go all the way down to the bottom. So what you're gonna do is first fill your soil at the bottom so that when you plant your plant in your container, that it will sit about one inch, I use my finger, about one inch below the rim of your container. And then we're gonna take this out. And if you'd like, you can give it a little bit of a massage at the bottom to loosen up the roots at the base. And what you're gonna do is try to find that in the center and again, where the level of that potting line is about one, one inch or half an inch from the lip of your container. Bring some of the soil around it to hold it in place. And then you can add more soil. And the reason why you leave a slight depth from the top of your room to the top of the plant in here, it gives you a chance to work with your dressing. Then you also, like you do in landscape planting, slightly push and compress the soil around, make a nice flat surface. And so there you go. So at this stage, you would water in with the pail and watering it around. Let that water come through and you'll see it actually come through the hole at the bottom. Once you got it really nice, then we're ready for to add some dressing. There's a variety of dressing. Uh, we use a number of different types of rocks. They can be of different sizes. It's easy to pour. And what you're doing is just pouring the rocks around it. And what dressing does is help to retain the moisture in your container, because container plants actually dry out faster than them when they are in the ground, because they're, they're out and exposed. And so the dressing can help with that, as well as be a wonderful decorative element. Knowing that these are red flowers, I really like the contrast of the peach color of the stones against here. And so then you have your dressing. you found this information helpful. If you'd like to learn more about the Theater of Pain Foundation and about our classes, information about containers, check out the details section below.